This is Jupiter Today for the 11th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant two, heading west, gonna be transiting Jupiter soon. Ganymede starts the day also in quadrant three, heading west, moving towards its western elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. At six hours UTC, EO maintains its position in quadrant three heading west but getting near its western elongation. Europa has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three heading west. So we have all four moons in quadrant three heading west at six hours UTC. By 12 hours UTC, EO has moved past its western elongation and is now heading east in quadrant four. Europa is now firmly in quadrant three heading west. And Ganymede has passed its western elongation and joins Eo in quadrant four heading east. At 1551, Eo goes through its apogee, and that's at a radial distance between it and Jupiter of 423,536.8 kilometers. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant four, heading east, but gonna be moving behind Jupiter soon. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east, having moved behind Jupiter. And Europa has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. There are six Jupiter satellite events today. At zero hours, 46 minutes UTC, the transit of Europa across Jupiter begins. At one hour UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 341, the transit of Europa ends. And at 3.54 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 18.30, Eo disappears behind Jupiter. And at 20.56 UTC, Eo moves out of the shadow of Jupiter. There are four satellite mutual events today. The first one goes from 1057 to 1103 UTC when Europa occults EO. This is a 6.8 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.424 magnitudes. And it's a nice far distance away from Jupiter, 104.95 arc seconds away. And looking at the Google Earth map, you can see the visibility of this event. Western North America, Hawaii, all of the Pacific, maybe a little bit of Australia and Asia. The next event just takes place a couple of minutes later, so I'm gonna keep the same Google Earth map going. It goes from 1108 to 1116 UTC when Europa eclipses EO. This is an eight minute event with a fairly deep estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.769 magnitudes. EO is 103.61 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and EO are 5.01 arc seconds apart. And again, the visibility is more or less the same as it was from the first event. These events are just a few minutes apart. The third event for today goes from 1228 to 1243 UTC, and that's when Callisto is going to occult Ganymede. This is a long 15.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.159 magnitudes. 
and it's 314.22 arc seconds from Jupiter. Visibility there is most of the Pacific, Western Pacific, East Asia, some of Australia, and the fourth event for today goes from 1324 to 1350 UTC, and that's when Callisto eclipses Ganymede. And this is a very long event, 26.1 minutes, and it's a very deep eclipse as well. It's 1.393 magnitude drop. Ganymede's 312.24 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Callisto and Ganymede are 11.86 arc seconds apart. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. Here's the connection between Io and Europa. And Io and Ganymede. And Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these two and colorize them a little bit to present that. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. See what action there is going to be transpiring in the Jupiter system over the next 24 hours. It's always a very dynamic place with all those moons. There goes Io into Jupiter's shadow. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 138, the second at 1134, and the third at 2130 UTC. There was a new image to show. It was posted. And there was also some new radio data posted. This data was taken on the 10th of February at the UT time shown. And there were one paper and at zero hours UTC the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 18 minutes, 26.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 42 minutes, 26.9 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 175.054 degrees, and that's 1.115 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 0.916 degrees, and that's 0 0.206 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 650,705,461 kilometers. 
and that's 198.622 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 8,275.92 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,967.59 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is 797,886,101 kilometers, and that's 46,150 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,922.92 kilometers per hour, and that's one kilometer per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 56.25 degrees, CM2 38.9 degrees, CM3 308.56 degrees. The time of this recording is 2217 on the 10th of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to all the new subscribers who are listening and watching hoping to make this podcast interesting and informative and always better every day, if possible. You can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.